love you, Tony. How dare you point that thing at me? Stop with the emotion, please. You don't love me. You love what I represent. You love being the... Dude, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up our sleeves, huh? Uh, uh, I'm just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. So I still love you, Tony. Hold on to yourself. You're in over and your head you and you're up here. Jimmy! God damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing hermaphrodite this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well... Nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine. Fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Ugh. Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head, crying kidnapped. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. Shit. All right. They fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... I don't lie. I'm not... Oh, so you're not exactly a ro... What? Nice try. Old man despot? <sighs> I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well... I had to, to protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are at the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of like force of habit. Take your pick. Yo, thanks. No, I've got a seminar out of town. How about the day after? 
and we end up at this Pucci. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV. Balls. Then we go back to the Great news. Thanks. End of the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're going to behave like a human being. It's like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Shit, shit, shit. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, hey, cool, Dad. man. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey. Ah! 
Fuck, man! Come. I like that. What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass, these guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Go to the seat of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. 